ADHD is a familiar term to most educators and students and stands for Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder. According to the National Institute of Mental Health, it is a medical diagnosis for a neurological condition that is characterized by inattention, hyperactivity, and impulsivity. School-aged children are most frequently diagnosed with ADHD, boys more than girls. Most diagnoses include treatment with methylphenidate, a stimulant drug commonly known as Ritalin, but there is controversy. Some say that ADHD is not scientifically validated, that it is essentially a theory. This criticism calls into question the whole practice of medicating children. So what exactly is the science behind ADHD? The National Institute of Mental Health clearly states that ADHD is a neurobiological condition. Although not fully understood, it is a chemical imbalance of the brain that we try to treat with medication. This chemical imbalance is what makes ADHD a real medical disease and not just a theory. There's been a lot of talk in recent years about Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder, or ADHD. And with all the talk, there's come a lot of misinformation. Here today to help us separate fact from fiction are two experts, Dr. Patricia Quinn, a developmental pediatrician from Washington, D.C., in private practice, and also Dr. Peter Jensen, who is a professor of child psychiatry at Columbia University. Let's get right to it. Is ADHD a real disease? Absolutely, and we now know it occurs in approximately 3 to 5 percent of the population. It is replicable. We can have certain symptoms with diagnostic criteria that a group of professionals who deal in this field can accurately diagnose the disorder. So why all the controversy and criticism? It's proven that we have a chemical imbalance of the brain, right? The actual truth about chemical balance is that it's an actual lie. Nobody has yet measured, demonstrated, or created a test to show that somebody has a chemical imbalance in their brain. Period. Look, I'm confused. If ADHD is not just a medical theory, then surely there's a scientific test to diagnose it. What does the National Institute of Mental Health have to say about it? What the American public should be thinking about is when they or their loved ones or their friends have received a psychiatric diagnosis, they should be asking the dog, geez, dog, where's the, where's the chemical test for that? Where is the objective test for this? And I guarantee you that they'll be told, uh, we don't have a chemical test for that. If ADHD cannot be scientifically demonstrated to be a medical disease, it would be dishonest to tell the public otherwise, unless there were other fish to fry.